the presidential campaign of Hillary Clinton, her grand national aspirations, her time in the sun. It's all over. This once plump political grape who had all the bursting promise of any compromised status is now a dried up worthless raisin. And all the institutions she created and represented and rendered are just as meaningless. Oh, goodbye, you shriveled witch, goodbye. This election was by no means a mandate for either candidate, but as an optimist, I have to believe on some level it is a rejection of statism and corruption. And for that, my heart sings. I sip leftist tears from a crystal snifter, and I have never found any drink so intoxicating. The sobbing fools who trick themselves into thinking she stood for anything but her own concentration of power are not sad because they think their so-called mini-Hitler is going to round them up and catapult them to a Honduran slum. They are sad because every shred of data, every word that dripped from pundits' lips assured them that fireworks would accompany Katy Perry on election night and their side would win. Were they right? Wrong. That is on the Wrong. national, Wrong. you know, Wrong. have a good time salute. Wrong. Proved. <laughs> and what about the legion of celebrities who promised to move far, far away from Trump's America? I did buy a house in another country just in case there were all these people that threaten, that threaten to leave the country and you that don't, don't, I will leave that country. <laughs> If it isn't Hillary in November, does your act change? Does your act uh, my change? act will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain or somewhere. I don't know. I can't. I can't believe it. I'm either coming to your country if you let me in or Canada. You're very welcome. Oh, Canada! Yeah, where they have extremely prohibitive immigration laws. Why do all these shrill, sore losers want to go to white enclaves in places like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand? where they're not wanted. Because these celebrities have soft, uncalloused hands from being out of touch with the part of the country that is hurting so badly, Donald Trump was their best option. These rich, entitled, compassionless flunkies are more than invited to make good on their word, something politicians never do, and leave before Inauguration Day, but they won't. Because, like their displaced queen, they are hypocritical gum flappers who are willing to put up with a cronyist system that benefits only them. So what does the future hold for a Trump presidency? Well, that remains to be seen, and will certainly hold his feet to the fire of freedom. Until then, let me have just one more day to bask in the tragic beauty of hubris and schadenfreude as pundits, pollsters, and pop stars got it all wrong. I'm glad you popped in. I'm Kennedy.